Yeah, we came through here last night, fellas. Boy, we were smoking up a train last night. Fully loaded right now, but I got loaded last night, but I couldn't offload till the morning because uh, we had a little bit of issue. As y'all can see, we had the hose in the back fell off the trailer. Fell off on the trailer and uh, burned all the way off. As y'all can see, we lost the end fitting and we lost half the hose. It was about five more extra feet <laughs> connected to that. But what we're going to have to do is... We're going to cut this because it's a good hose. We're going to cut it right here. Put a fitting on the end right there. Bungee cord it. See those two holes? We're going to come down with the bungee cord around. And uh, that'll be perfect right there. You know, like I said, it was too long anyway, so it needed to be cut. No biggie. Let's take it down, get it cut. Yeah, what we came through here, boy, we was something talking about. We was just a sparking boy. Oh, it was sparking. And like I said, we fully loaded, so hopefully, hopefully nothing bad happened. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Okay. Ooh, this is on pretty tight right here. This is yarn. This is thick right here. We're going to replace this with bungee cord. We're going to put a bungee cord here, here, come around here, hold that up like that. If I can't get this yarn back up, or whatever this is, whatever it is, it wasn't strong enough. So, of course, y'all know where I'm at. I'm right here. My favorite shop, the only shop I come to in Odessa to handle any of my holes repairs. Come right here. They're going to get the job done every time. I don't have to wait in no line. I just pull up and work get done. And I like it like that. Man, I gotta crawl all the way in there to get that second. Damn. All right, y'all. Let me get on. Let me go ahead and fix this situation. Look at that. Look at that. I'm surprised it didn't take out a tire. Oh, it did take out a tire. That tire right there. That tire flat right there. That tire either is flat. Oh, it ain't got too much air in it. I'm gonna go with it. it, ain't got that much. Yeah, it ain't got that much air in it. It ain't flat, but it's so sitting at about 60 PSI. I'm about to get the air gauge on that one. Get some air on that time. Yeah, yeah, need some air in that tire right there. It ain't flat, but about a good 60, 70 PSI. Damn, I gotta crawl all the way in there. Okay, let me let me sit this phone down and get to work. All right, YouTube. I got that hose off. It's inside the shop right now. Like I said, we're gonna cut that in off. I needed to cut in the way. I was gonna come here to get it cut in the way, but uh, I'm gonna show you how I hid the hose. I thought I hid it secure. We're gonna sit all that bungee action. Look at all that bungee action right there. So it was a 20 foot hose. On my last trailer, 20 foot stopped right here on the end. But this trailer, this is only 15 feet. The other five feet, I had like snagged it up through here and came out here. And uh, man, that hose, it took, like I said, it took the end off and it took my fire extinguisher with it. I don't know why the fire extinguisher. Look at that, I hit the pin in here, look at this. Something ain't going right with that. The pin's still in here too. I don't know how that broke off. I had I had the whole thing secure, but I'm guessing this boat over here was too loose. Yep, that's what it is. The boat was too loose in it. It gave it enough to break off. Matter of fact, this ain't even securing anything. That's for display. <laughs> we gotta tighten this up. Gotta tighten that up. Gotta tighten that up. I get that tightened up. But uh, yeah, that's what happened. But I'm not tripping. Like I said, I needed it to cut anyway. So I was getting cut right now. But we're gonna see how it come out. Like I said, we're gonna bungee cord it up this time. 
Let's see what can we get. Okay. Okay, that's small. That's gonna be medium. That's another small. Too long, one medium, too small. That medium right there, that's gonna go right here in the front. Go right there, that's gonna go right there, right there, right there. Boom. Okay, that's perfect right there. That long. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, so I got me 6.5. got that grand total for you. Say the two dollars sixty-seven cent. We went with a uh, clamp, two clamps, and a uh, fitting. So I can see two clamps of the fitting. That's all they charge us for. Uh, the reason why the uh, fitting is seventy dollars, I don't go with the aluminum fittings. I go with the more uh, the, the better product, you know, the better product, whatever material that is. Yeah. So, like I said, I always come to the same spot. I pretty much just park right here and uh, meet those them inside. They start working. Wait a minute, just in case y'all forgot where I'm at. We're down here at Mid Midwest Homes and Specialty in Odessa. So if you're a pneumatic holiday, even if you're a company driver, if you're a company driver, and your carrier pay for everything, but uh, y'all know how that is. You may bust the holes, and it's not easy to uh, get the carrier to replace the holes. Man, you could come here, get that hose cut, wherever, wherever the hole is in the hose. Man, you just come up here, get it cut, and they'll take that fitting on the end and put it right in. Man, probably charge like ten dollars or something. Man, that, that right there solve your problem. You know, versus waiting on the carrier, versus playing that duct tape game. There's too many drivers out here playing a duct tape game man once you get experience in the oil field i don't even have a roll of duct tape i'd be damned if you're gonna catch me out here duct taping no damn holes man and if the hose is busted it's busted man it's time to get that thing cut it ain't no good uh you won't find no duct tape on my hose at all look at that oh but you may find a clamp that looks like oh, okay uh, no, no you won't no, no, no. i thought that was a clamp that was i thought that one slid off for me Look at that, look at them holes right there. Look at all that right here, bungee cord, bungee cord. Yeah, you see that? Look at that bungee, they're nice and tight. Mm-hmm, nice and tight. Not going nowhere, look at that. Not going nowhere, look at that. Look, it ain't going nowhere, look at that. Look at that, yeah, bungee cord, bungee cord. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, let me make sure this one. Now, I ain't got 20 footer holes up in here. It's a 21 footer, but I ain't got 20 feet in here. So hopefully, okay, it ain't slid back on me. Now, I think that hose right there, that was that was the original hose that was under here when I bought the truck. So this is 15 feet right here, but this is a 21 foot hose rack on the side. So uh, this can slide. What I really need to do, I need to take one of them bungee cords right there, hook it on the end right there, and just kind of like hang it out. You know, hang it out, maybe hook it right here. And that way it won't slide all the way on down there. Then that's thing, you know, we gotta get a coat hanger and, pull that thing going out of there but uh oh I just noticed something what the hell is that oh maybe that's normal looks like it's a rubber some rubber stuck up in here is that normal it ain't moving that's the first time I seen that y'all see how it in right there with this rubber thought it was something caught up in there I guess not but, hey as long as it blows sand get the job done we want to give a shout out to some people. So we want to shout out uh, African Mamba. I'm about to watch a video. I just woke up. I know you into that. Uh, man, is the mic even? Now I gotta watch the replay. I know you into that crypto mining. I see you about the GPUs. Uh, I was still hunting for GPUs, and you're trying to get that passive income. Uh, definitely a good idea. Definitely a good idea. We want to shout out African Mamba. He out there, uh, still investing. 
still invested. I know he had called me when I was in Memphis a long time ago to uh, look at some houses on the, uh, what do you call that list? The list of Shelby County, um, you know the list where they put like houses, to abandoned houses and all that. Yeah, he had called about that. So, uh, you know, he been doing a lot of investing. A lot of investing. Shout out to the Lumber. Fuck you, money. We need a video. We don't know we need a video. We ain't got a video in a minute. We need to know what's going on. Okay. So we gonna hook that right there into that. Uh oh. Let me make sure that'll fit. <laughs> right, okay, we good. We good. Look at that. So that's gonna hook right there. Look at that. We gonna come up with it like that. And hook that right there. That's gonna be. It should be perfect. If that don't work right there. If we need a little bit more space, that ain't no problem. We got that uh, small one. That uh, small right there. We can use that for extension. If we need a little bit more room right there. So that first one should just work. So we got this. Uh, these are extra, so if I want to like, if I want to uh, add extra protection, we can do that. But that's what we got, guys. You know, y'all be asking me for my shops. Okay, this is one shop right here. You know, y'all showing up to here can't affect my business. Yeah, everybody can show up to here. This ain't showing up to here ain't gonna affect my business. It ain't like showing up to my mechanic and that's like you know i can't get work done because it's a thousand people uh in line because they they sick and tired of the dealership oh what up what up what up i see you now yeah y'all sick and tired of the dealership i ain't never been to a dealership i don't even know what that's like i ain't even got that type of experience yeah I ain't never been to dealership. The only thing I go to dealership for is a brand new parts <laughs> to put on my old raggedy equipment. Look at that. Yeah, that's all I do with the, that dealership. We just buy brand new, the 2022, 2022 parts for my old raggedy uh, equipment. Y'all know I keep telling y'all this is a 1982 Butler. I noticed another vent thing over here. And this ain't even a 1982. Wait a minute, hold on. Where that damn vent thing go? Yeah, I blew the dust off one of them vent things, one of them vent, vent things. <laughs> I call it the vent thing. Yeah, here you go, right here. Yeah, I blew the dust off this thing. It might be too bright. Wait a minute, y'all see that? It's actually an 81. Yeah, it's an 81. Look at that. Manufacture, date of manufacture. Uh, on September 29th, 81. Oh, it's, it's birthday coming up on the 29th. My birthday on the 23rd. Uh, this birthday is on the 29th. It's an eight in one. Look at that. So, oh, it's really old right here. Yeah, we just, well, we did. We taking it back in. Taking it back in. Look at that. Everything worked. We didn't have no leaks, no issues with the belly line. Amigos did a good job. Yeah, Amigo did a good job. Everything worked. No complaints. We fully loaded too right now. Yeah, y'all see that solid. That solid. We fully loaded right now. We just couldn't unload into this place. This shop open. But yeah, we loaded to the brim. Now I don't know if y'all gonna watch this video all the way through, but Ice Water had asked the question. He wanted to know can I still load uh, 24, 23, or 23, 24 in this trailer? Yeah, I can load 23 or 24. Uh, either one in this trailer is gonna, uh, it's definitely gonna fit. It, it fitted in the last one also. But yeah, it's gonna fit. But right now, right now with this trailer, uh, I just been loading everything right down the middle because the seals at the top are brand new and they kind of it's kind of hard to close because it's so new. It's so you know it's real tight. So I just been shooting everything down the middle until that middle one loosen up up there. It's starting to loosen up. It ain't as tight as it was, but you know, you know. But uh, yeah, this y'all video for the day. We're gonna get that tire looked at. I will air it up myself, but uh, my airline won't reach this far. I need to put a tire gauge on that. Matter of fact, I gotta go to Love's. 
you. I go to Lowe's, pay that, pay that five dollars. Yeah, you go and check out them tires and give me the tread depth too. But then again, if I do that, Lowe's probably gonna tell me why these tires is illegal. Yeah, they gonna tell me. Yeah, I already know. Yeah, I already know. Yeah, I know the game Lowe's play. Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar with it. I already know what's going on. They ain't just gonna. They ain't like they. Just, I, I can just pay the five dollars and leave. Now that ain't how it work. That's how you think it's gonna work. That's how you think it's gonna work. Psych. <laughs> I'm just talking shit, y'all. I'm out of here. All right, guys. Show y'all the finished product. So, like I said, we got that bungee cord up right there. Boom, boom. Bungee cord like that. Getting in the back. We got that new fitting on right there. Got that bungee cord up just like that. So, now we can just hook up holes right here. Blow and go, baby, blow and go. Look at that, nothing touching the ground. That's perfect right there, but we need some extra protection. We need some extra protection right there in the middle. Uh, I end up cutting that yellow line. I'm about to, uh, I'm about to figure something out right now. I mean, right now it's gonna hold, but, you know, these bungee cords ain't, it's solid, but you know, I don't want them to slide out. Oh, that right there, that's gonna work for right now. Perfect right there. Look at that. Look at that. And let's go make some money. Let's go make some money. Let's get this load off. We can head on too damn long.